This video will cover a topic that we have really not looked much into, namely import export of layer files and also the HVC key map. Everything we have done here in the uh, training so far has been done on a training layer that has its own file. And for those of you who are JSON savvy people, if you click on this one, then you see the JSON that is actually in that file. It's an actual file with this text information that defines the whole behaviors and the layers and all the um, variables that we have added and so on. So let's just close this down. But if we want to export that, then we will uh, go to the enclosing layer called include training. On this layer, we are basically referring to that file. And if we go here and then we scroll to the bottom, we have a manage snippet function. And here you see the training file that we have. We can then download this. So that's what we will do. It's now downloaded to our hard drive on the computer we are sitting at. And it's now possible for us to basically go out here and create a completely new project which I think we'll do for the sake of this demonstration. And um, we'll just, just create a new uh, copy project. There's one thing we need to do now because I want to prove to you how we can have this configuration imported and also use it with some of the devices and so on that is available. So we should add devices in this case over here, like the same cameras with the same IDs and vMix and ATEM system and so on. Maybe we'll just add the ATEM switch actually because then we can at least See, uh, there we have the ATEM Mini that we just had. Oh, come on. Ooh, now we have a lot of ATEMs. Um, it's right there. OK, we'll just add this. We'll also find vMix. And just pick this one. And uh, I previously put it into uh, simulation mode. You do that by clicking here, press simulate, and then it's in simulation. And then finally, I can add a few cameras. If we want to go all the way, Canon CRN 500. And we also want to have the CRN 300 camera right here. So awesome. Now that's in place. Then we want to add a panel. And this time, we'll take an inline 22. The inline. Um, oh, wait, we could just take in line 10. That's a nice one as well. I I will. Oh, is that now a good idea? It may be a worse idea than I thought. No, I think, OK, I think I'll go with this. Because the point is that the inline 10 is pretty much like a PDC fly, but without the joystick. I think you can see that from the controller. In my configuration, I want to import this file now, but I want to do it in an enclosing layer. So I'll just create a uh, child layer here and uh, import file. I'll just type that in. And then on this layer, I will now go down to the bottom, manage snippets. And in here, I'll be able to upload the snippet that we created just a moment ago, create this, and then use it. So now this snippet gets included right here. But the thing is, <clears throat> what we are looking at right now is not shown anywhere on the inline 10. And it also turns out that it's kind of uh, messing up the blue pill. And why is that? The thing is that <clears throat> if we go back to the home screen, we have two panels managed right now. Panel number one, panel number two. Going back to the configuration tab, it turns out that inside the configuration for the, uh, for the blue pill, we have fields mapped over all the displays on the blue pill here are actually coming from reactor and they are mapped over to panel number one and then the IDs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which are the display tiles on this display. But above this, we just created a layer. And if we, if we look at the key map here, that is also mapping A1, left, right, up, down, and so on to these. So that is why we are seeing the display content from the behavior aliases that we created for the imported file mapped over onto the blue pill and nothing is routed to the inline 10. It's actually really easily done. And that is one of the reasons why I needed a layer called import file in between my training and the root. On this layer, I will go and I'll create a key map and I will add one here that is simply mapping everything that is called underscore p1 asterisk like this. 
This mapping means that anything inside of here that was mapped to panel number one gets rerouted over to panel number two from this layer and downwards. And now you can see that I have actually managed to get everything down onto the inline 10 as it's supposed to be. We can actually play with it here. So just move around on, on these um, and see that it's all good. We can go to the atom switcher here and we see that we can um, manage the atom switcher as we've done before.